ago, or maybe it's already a couple of weeks ago, some YouTube friends asked me in the comment section a question about the shape. So we're gonna have a look at it. And first, I want to talk stickers from Paul from England from the necklace workshop. Now, Paul is uh, having this uh, small hand uh, operated little shaper, a beautiful machine. And of course, you understand, I immediately fell in love with this beautiful little machine. And if I understand well in his videos, he's got a little corner in the workshop of a friend of his. And I think that's beautiful to share workplace. That's what friends are for. So Paul, as you can see, your sticker is already on the cheap door. And I'm sure when your little shaper and your other machines are operational, you will make it beautiful things. He also included this friendly little note. So Paul, thank you very much. Now, the question of this friend YouTuber, let's go to the shaper and uh, if we can find it. Okay, I found it. It's uh, right here. Now, this uh, YouTube friend, unfortunately, I cannot find your comment anymore with this uh, question because it's uh, somewhere hidden in all these comments. I did the research but can't find it anymore. But if I understand well, the question was is it possible to make parts that are bigger than the capacity of the machine? Let me explain. The total travel of this RAM is 220 mm. I checked on my scale, 220 is about 8 and 3 quarter inch. Which means that the useful travel, because we all always leave this little void before the cut and after the cut is 200 millimeters and 200 millimeters is almost 8 inch it's imperial guys so you can see what, what I'm talking about now to explain a little bit better I will use a piece of local Christmas tree this is the kind of stuff you find inside Christmas trees. I take this one because if it's metal it will be too heavy and I cannot lift it. So, But this will do. So the total travel 200 mm will stop here at the end of the table. But the part we have to make is longer. Question, is it possible? Yes or no? Answer yes and no but no and yes maybe if we cut the part in the length the travel will stop right here which means at the end of the cut the chip will not break so we always have this curly thing that we will leave if uh, if we cut in the length and after, turn the part the other side, this way, you will never have this perfect finish because the same chip problem, it will not break, it will break the chips from the other side, yes, but it will not break the chips from cut from this side. Now, we could maybe put the part this way. I did put a yellow pencil looking cutting tool in here. Uh, of course it's a real pencil so you can see better on video. Start here. Start to cut. Total travel of the table is also about somewhere between 8 and 9 inch at 200 and something 
millimetres. End of travel. The problem is now there is a part left that is not yet cut. What we could do, of course this part is clamped down as uh, it should be, take the clamps off, move the part a bit, put the clamps back on and cut where we stopped the previous cut. That's possible. The problem is of course if the underside, this side of the part, is not machined, we're going to lose every precision. And I think precision could be important. If you have a part like this, whatever uh, model, whatever form, and this one side is machined, then indeed you can put it on the table, clamp it down, do one cut, uh, take the clamps off, move your part and do the second cut. That will be precise. This side is not machined, you will lose every precision. To be a little bit more complete, or uh, ish, uh, whatever, uh, I took my uh, wooden model scale shaper again. Now the ram uh, there's a little bit letting go so we're gonna take it off sorry ram all machine falling apart okay I suppose you understand up here is the ram the cutting action that way yeah now if we use the total stroke length of the shaper of course this uh, crank is completely out, almost on the outside, outside diameter, which means this lever is way longer than we normally use for smaller parts. It's going to use way more power from the electric motor, of course. Longer lever, more power, logic. Yeah? If you think about it, not a problem. Which means that if we cut and it's an, not an endless cut, but the cut is not finished when the ram is completely to the front. This whole pivot system here is maybe not really designed to take all these heavy loads, these heavy forces. So I'm not sure the shaper is going to be happy with a cut that will not end five millimeter before the end of the stroke so my youtube friend i hope you see this video because uh, i really don't know where in the comments i can find it i did a search but i'm really sorry for that so i hope you see this video i hope you recognize yourself in the answer i gave you and of course, I hope it can be useful to somebody else.